Now once we understand the structure of the React project, let me just make some changes inside it. So let me just open the source folder and inside it we have app.js component. Let me just zoom this out a little bit and here is the app.js component. We simply import the packages, then we create a function and inside it we have an HTML and then using the export statement we export it. Now let me first explain this app component. In this app component we have two import statement. The first statement is going to insert the icon inside this app component so we can use it. So we just say here import logo from logo.svg. So this is the path of the react logo image and I'm going to just specify that to this variable. So we have this image inside this variable so we can use it in the react component. Just out of that we have here import app.css. This is how we import CSS inside react application. We don't need to use link tag to insert CSS in the HTML. In React, if you want to use CSS, we just need to import it. Just after that, you can notice we have a function here. There are two types of component in React, a functional component and a class component. This is a type of functional component. We start with the function keyword and then specify the component name. Sometimes we might have parameters to the function. Here we don't have anything. Just after that, you can notice we return an HTML. But this is not just an HTML. This is what we call a JSS. React developed their own template engine to create HTML. This is something look like HTML but you can do a lot more with this JSX. You can notice here in this JSX we can access the variables as well. There are many advantages of using JSX inside your component instead of just using a standard HTML. JSX is a syntax extension to JavaScript. JSX describe what your UI should look like. We will look at that later in this course. But for now let's get rid of this header from this component and just display here a simple h2 heading tag with app component text. Let me save the changes. When I open my browser you can notice I have here app component h2 heading tag. You don't have to reload your browser to get the result. Now let me explain how react application work. So when you save your changes react will execute this index.js file. Inside this file we have a bunch of import statement and a simple react dom render method. This method is going to execute whenever you compile your react application. In this react dom render method you can notice you have here app component. Using this import statement import app from app we import this app inside this index.js and once we have the app inside this index file we're going to just call it inside this render method. As I said earlier components are reusable bit of code. They are identical to the JavaScript functions but work in isolation and return HTML via render function. You can notice here this is a simple component. If I want I can duplicate it and create multiple components. When I save the changes you can notice I have multiple app components here. So this is how you can reuse your component in react application. The render method is going to take two parameters. The first parameter is your component and second is the root ID where all your components being inserted. So let me show you where you can find this root ID. When you open your public folder and open the index.html, you can notice here when you scroll down, here you have your root ID. This is the division tag with the ID root. So we are going to insert the app component inside this division tag using this statement, using this render method. Now let me just comment this statement and add a simple h2 heading tag here and then specify here root component. When I save the changes, you can notice I'm going to have here root component as a response. So this render method is just going to take a simple JSX as a first parameter and root ID as a second parameter. When you start React development server, you can notice the server is started on local host 3000. This is the default port of a React development server. If you want, you can change this port. That's upon you. Now let me just back to my project, get it off this statement and uncomment this statement. When I save the changes, as you can see, this will just update this React app. Now let me inspect this page. So let me just open the inspect tool of Chrome. You can notice here when you open the inspect tool of Google Chrome, just head on to the elements and click on the body. And here you can notice we have root ID and inside that we have our app component. This is the division tag with the class app and we have h2 heading tag inside it. So this statement is just going to import this app or you can say insert this app inside this root division id and just down here before the closing body we have three script tags react use a webpack to bundle all the code of javascript 
and put that inside a single JS file and link that file before the closing body so we can use it in the project. Webpack will store all your JavaScript code inside these files. Now let me just back to my project and open index.js. Here you can notice I have here a component called React Strict Mode. This component automatically detects the side effect for you. Next, I'm going to show you how to create your own component in React.